Furniture, because of its size, produces a lot of waste and packaging. Since everyone needs and has furniture in their homes, over the years, this industry has generated a ton of waste. IKEA, who sells approximately 800 million cubic feet of furniture each year, is one of the largest furniture manufacturers in the world, which means that they unfortunately produce a lot of waste. Styrofoam is made of expandable, non-extruded polystyrene foam, or EPS. Polystyrene is a synthetic, aromatic, hydrocarbon polymer made from the monomer styrene. Under ASTM standards, polystyrene is regarded as not biodegradable. Styrofoam is unfortunately found in abundance in our environment today, particularly along shores and waterways in the Pacific Ocean. In 2019 alone, IKEA generated $44.6 billion in revenue. IKEA offers approximately 12,000 different products and uses styrofoam in order to protect their products during transport. That's a lot of styrofoam being used by a very large worldwide retailer. Since IKEA prides themselves on sustainable living, in 2019, they announced that they are leading the way for other furniture companies with this new styrofoam replacement solution, mushroom foam, also known as mycofoam. This biodegradable alternative is made of agricultural waste products like corn, hemp husks, oat hulls, and corn burrs. These ingredients are molded into the packaging shape and then seeded with mushroom spores. These spores then sprout something called mycelium. This is the vegetative part of the mushroom that forms a web of hair-like roots that hold soil together. The mycelium acts as a binding agent for the organic material that makes up the packaging in order to make it durable and shock-resistant packaging material. This is a pretty quick process too, which means that it is a very scalable packaging material solution. Once the packaging material reaches its desired consistency, it's then heated and dried in order to stop the mycelium growth. When a customer receives their item and unpacks it, the customer can then dispose of it in a number of ways without harming the environment. In fact, mycofoam is completely biodegraded in water in just a couple of weeks. So if it does end up in a lake, waterway, or in the ocean, the fish can eat it without being harmed and it will be completely gone in a couple of weeks. These items are best to be used in a compost pile to fertilize your garden rather than disposed in a lake or a waterway though. Now, this is a huge conservation win for the furniture industry. What other companies do you think could benefit from using mushroom foam? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I would love to see the food industry use it. They would just need to figure out how to handle the mushroom food allergy issue. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Conservation Wind Show. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all of my future content. To watch the full episode that this clip came from, click the link in this video's description.